Ah, uh, unboxings. Boy, um, I've gotten a lot of stuff in this last week here, and it was way more stuff than I expected all really quickly, and some of it was totally unexpected. This, however, was expected. Related to this little boy right here, USB cable, okay. No way it's that small. This is insane. No way it's this small. What the heck? I don't even think the plug is gonna fit in there. Look at this, it's all whacked out. Look, it says soda. <laughs> I've gotta zoom in, this is insane. <laughs> Look how small this thing is. Everything's all junky. Look at it, it's off center. <laughs> it's got a speaker. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me with this, hold on. Let me get a, let me get a plug here. Will this actually fit? That's insane. Um, okay. <laughs> good good thing it says ham radio right there. Let's get this uh, plastic off, otherwise this isn't gonna make any sense. Come on. All right, fine. You brought this on yourself. I already ate. Okay. All right, so uh, there's some there's some folks up on 7.254. Ooh, holy smokes! Oh my gosh, I hear FT8 noises, and it's on upper side. But whoa! Whoa! This actually sounds good. Well. Okay, I have to put this into perspective. I've been monkeying with this thing for the last, like, couple of days. I, I have problems with this radio, okay? I, I've been having problems. Uh, <laughs> this thing, though. Hey, Wayne, give me your call again, please. Uh, How is it this loud? Uh, now that we established that I rotated the dipole a little bit, and I got you uh, about a, a, a problem. What? What? Okay, here's the actual audio on the uh, mic. Kilo Seven Whiskey Delta America. Got it. Uh, Wayne, are you are you camping or is, are you a resident there? Or, uh, fill me in on the details. Uh, okay, because you said you were at a uh, park. Kilo India Six November Alpha Zulu. Uh, Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. I'm working with a little radio here that I haven't completely aligned yet. Um, just wanted to come back to you real fast. I can switch to another radio if I'm not making it all the way. You gotta be kidding me. They didn't come back! Baby, come back! You can blame it on this radio! <laughs> uh, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Is that a copy, QSL? All right, moving on. It is like, the audio is bad, but it's good, because it's loud and, and legible. This is, I, I can't like tell you how, And it's got a USB? Like, is this for cat control? What is happening? I can't with this. Where does the key go? Okay, now now I gotta know. Where does, how do you key this thing? It decodes?
That's pretty close. No, I got that wrong. It, it's, it actually has decent filtering. The front end's not completely blown out. Is the, wait, 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 I gotta see if the AGC's on. Does it have AGC? It, 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 bro, this is nuts. Look. Wow. I'm guessing it's going to be off the mic. Not great. Upcoming week and I don't even know what to do right now. You, you don't understand, okay? I bought this and had it shipped, and I think shipped, it was like 120 bucks. This cost the same. Not a kit. And it does the same things. It's all the same. Well, that's probably not good. That's probably not good. Okay. <laughs> Point taken. Let's see if I can switch the battery here. Okay, maybe I just didn't like the power supply. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. O hold on. Can I use this without the key? Can I just tap this? <gasps> Oops, my bad. I'm not perfect right now. What's the keying set to? I mean, it's all manual for me right now, but still. Uh, the only thing that's a problem is this shouldn't be, uh, it should be gated. It should, I mean, I think it has to be because it's a control button, but it's, um, it's co controls are pretty bad. So you could be between a step and it, it switches. Noise reduction? Are you kidding me? Attenuator? CPAP. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go buy this, okay, there's a couple of things we got to cover here. This is not a great radio. 
And I think this is like the Russian roulette of amateur radios at this point. There are a couple of major points that I have to mention that I think most people should avoid this completely. The first problem is that a couple of people I know with this, and you can actually go online too and just get random feedback from people on different websites for reviewing like eHams and web forms and whatnot. They have one of these and they have major problems with it. Bands of operation that are supposed to be there, it doesn't work on. It sounds even more distorted than mine. Some just don't power on or they power on and they don't actually receive any audio like the radio isn't functioning even as a receiver. So if you buy one of these, even at $100, you're taking a big gamble. Most people, you're probably better off going with the true SDX. Speaking of the true SDX, this is kind of a clone of a radio called the USDR or USDX to some, depending on how you look at it. I don't have my, my model numbers completely straight, but it was originally designed by DL2MAN MAN, and PE1NNZ. If you'd like to hear a greater backstory on some of the issues regarding the clones of that radio, like this one, go ahead and take the link in the cards. I'll go to an interview I did with both of them. Fantastic video. Thanks again, guys, for being on the show. But all the radios that are like this or some form of USDR or USDX that you get off of AliExpress or eBay, if it's not linked to the DL2MAN website, which I will post link in the description, it means it's a clone. It's a copy of his design. They didn't ask to use his design. They kind of just took it and ran with it. And if you don't know, the true SDX is a Creative Commons licensed radio, meaning anyone can take it in its form that it sits today, sell it, remanufacture it, make kits out of it for profit, as long as they don't mess with the DL2MAN PE1 and Z design. This takes a lot of liberties there and does not really meet the quality standards that they put forward when they created their Creative Commons license. So you're taking a big crapshoot on the whole thing. Russian roulette's probably better because at best you get a radio that's kind of like mine that functions all right. It sounds kind of bad, uh, but it's, it's really tiny, yet it kind of works. So a hundred dollars, you know, how much is your is your money worth in that sense? And do you want to take the gamble? You might not. Item three, the cost of these has fluctuated wildly. I bought this one, I think, for $89 off of eBay, and prices have gone through the roof on these. Insofar as when I went to go buy another one off of AliExpress, which I think was listed for $95 to $100, the company ended up coming back to me and saying, we can't actually ship it to you for that cost. There's no profit in it for us. Will you pay us 10 extra dollars? And they had like an item that was just $10 that I could buy on their AliExpress. The whole thing reeked of a scam, so I just asked them to return my money. Uh, that's kind of the stuff you get with a radio like this. So really, really be careful with this one. I'm not going to tell people that this isn't cool and interesting because, again, the size is like super tiny. But I will say be very careful. And that's kind of where I'll leave things. So thanks for watching so much. And a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. It is thanks to these people that allow me to do dumb things like buy a $100 radio sight unseen to just test it and talk about it and demonstrate it and warn you all about it. So thanks, guys. This one was a lucky one. But I'll tell you what, there's a couple of radios that I purchased in the past that I was not so lucky on. And it's thanks to these guys that allow me to do funny things like this and actually determine if a radio is worth your hard earned money or not. So if you'd like to support the channel and doing things like this and all the other fun stuff I do, there will be a link in the description for you to check out our Patreon system. There's a couple of different perks that go along with it. If you've always wondered, what is a way you could support the channel? Patreon is the best way. They take the least amount of money in comparison to that of YouTube, which is generally, I think, a 60-40 split, and that includes Super Chats and all the other things. So if you're a bit interested in supporting, the best way is via Patreon. So anyway, thanks again to all the Patreons, all the patrons, for the support you guys give. So I'll leave you with this. The True SDX, still possibly one of the best performing, cheapest radios on the market for HF at about $135 shipped to your door. Prices may have changed some. Again, I'll remind you all, go to the DL2MAN website and check it out. I, um, I still like this radio. It has negatives to it. Of course it does because it's only $135, but it's got a lot of good going on for it that I've talked about in other videos. 
K6 ARK is now making an antenna for these that goes directly on the SMA port, so you can get a nice little NFED half wave to go along with this in kit form. A tiny little boy that twists on the end there. Works great, so I would consider or recommend you consider taking a look at the true SDX instead of the ham radio USDR. Thanks, guys.